understand we walk by faith and not by sight. We go through life not worrying about what people can do to us, for greater is he who is in us than he that is in the world. We come with shouts of praises and hallelujahs and thanksgiving. Because God said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Just stay. Stay in the storm. Feels dark uh, on every hand, uh, and we cannot uh, understand uh, all the ways that God will lead us uh, to that blessed promised land. That something sung today, something ministered today will edify somebody's walk with you, God.
Good morning, St. James. Good morning to our Facebook worshipers. Good morning to our Zoom worshipers. Good morning to everybody who woke up this morning with their mind stayed on Jesus. Amen. Every praise is to our God. Amen. We've come to praise the Lord. We thank God for our young people who are leading us in worship today. We thank God for Sister Lamaya Cross, who's going to be our worship leader. And we thank God for our guest speaker today, guest preacher, who will be introduced later on in our worship. But if you don't know what to do right now, you ought to just praise the Lord. Amen. In class at church school this week, they taught us that if you're angry, stay home. If you're upset, stay home. Mm -hmm. If you got a problem, stay home. Because in this house, I was glad when they said unto me, you got to be happy when you come here. So we've come happy and joyful to praise the Lord. Help us lift up the name of the Lord as Sister Lamaya Cross leads us in our worship today. Amen. 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 Praise God from whom all blessings flow. <clears throat> to me. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. For I thy thy court court the I'd, I'd rather be a door to the house of my God, God, my God than dwell in the tents, tents of wickedness. wickedness. Because of the house of the Lord, our God, I will seek thy good. Those, Those who are in, in the house of the Lord, of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. God. Blessed are they that dwell in the house of the Lord. I have loved thy habitation, the place where thy honor dwelleth. For the Lord is the only temple, and all, and all the earth keep silence before him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. All together. O sing the name of the Lord, Lord's new song. Praise the Lord. I was growing up, I didn't like this hymn. I hated to sing this hymn. It got on my nerves when I was young to sing this hymn. But as I got older, I learned what the hymn meant. Hymn number 377. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his words, what a glory he sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still. And with all who will what? Trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. We're going to sing this hymn and lift our voices to the Lord. Hymn number 377. When we walk, when we walk with the Lord.
forever, but we never can prove the delights of His love until all on the altar we lay. For the favor He shows and the joy He bestows are for them. followed by our prayer by Nate Wallace. Amen. We pray for the rights of all women and their rights to choose. We pray for equal and fair justice within our judicial system. We pray against all gun violence and killings in our community. And we pray for peace in our streets. We pray for legislation that will deter gun violence and the sale of high power weapons. We pray for all students, teachers, and administrators as they end another school year. We pray for Mayor Ed Ganey, Congresswoman Summers Lee, Lieutenant Governor Austin Davis, the Supreme Court as they deliberate on affirmative action, the Alexander family as they celebrate the life of Reverend Floyd Alexander Sr. We pray for our mothers of the church, Mother Alma Burgess, Mother Anna Mae Davis, Mother Vivian Davis, Mother Maureen Cross Bolden, yes. Mother Eva Lowe, Mother Frances Jackson, Deaconess Zerna Benton, Mother Gloria Daly, Mother Essie Jones, Mother Yvonne Peaks, Mother Dorothy Gregory, Mother Susie Crumbles, Mother Della Burke, Mother Ada Anderson, Mother Ruth Washington. We pray for Andy Coleman, Dr. Sylvia Wade, Judy Lewis, Licentiate Monica Jackson, Larry and Rosie Moore, Jenna Davis Watkins, Carl Lane and family, Robin Griffin, Dr. Lawrence Davis, Aaron Harrison, Stephanie Drake's son, Deadrian James Harris, Paul Harper. We pray for Sierra Tompkins, Sierra Turner, Francine Dokes, Beverly Deans, Brendan Younger, Rhonda Anderson, Eddie Poole, Sarah Hudson. We pray for Thomas Connor. Joseph Curl, Katherine Patterson, Larry Frischer, 
Monica and Nate Wallace. We pray for Teresa Davis, Brenda Wade, Sheila Turner, Darren West. We pray for James Moore, Carly Harper, Kevin Ford, Robert Simpson, Barbara Lyles, Pat Rouse. We pray for Candy Ford, Andy Ford, Maretta Brock, Elisa Hakeem, Dwayne Turner Jr., Jeanette Arvin, Gloria Dorsett, Daniel Simmons, Kaylin Ford, Yvette Worthy, Angel Peaks, Channing Bluford. We play for Michael Fisher, Paul Nelson, James Fisher, Delbert Maxson. We also pray for Elisa Griffin and Son, Phyllis Bettison, Derek South, Kanta Harris and family, Aaron Jones White, Crystal Vines, Anna Smith, Ron Smith, Viola Claude Brashaw, and Matthew Smith. Amen. God. All right. God, I pray for my friends, family, teachers, and my mother, yeah. my godfather, and I pray for all gun violence to stop. And I pray to get a good job one day. I pray that everyone in this church get a, has a happy day and today. And um, I pray that I can um do good in this because I don't think I'm doing great right now. And Jesus name, amen. amen. Amen, amen. Give it up for Nate. Amen. We will now have our scripture reading by Bianca Morris. I will be reading from Children and Youth, number 743. In that hour came disciples to Jesus saying, who then is greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And he called to him a little child and set him in the midst of them and said, truly I say to you, except you be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Take heed that you Despite, despise not one of these little ones. For I say to you, that in heaven and the angels do always behold the face of my Father, which is in heaven. Then there were brought unto him little children, that he should lay his hands on them and pray. And the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Suffer the little children, and forbid them not to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them and departed thence. Thank you. From all that dwells.
get my hymnal. That's all right. Okay. And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Glory.
that God has been so, he's been so excellent. I mean, people have gone through some really difficult times. I've dealt with some pain, but you can see how excellent God is. You ain't been all that good, but it was God. It was God because he was been so. I don't know how I was going to make it, but when I think about the goodness of Jesus, I think about folks just sang there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus no not one same message we praise God Jesus excellent is thy name I want to welcome persons who are worshiping with us first of all I want to acknowledge my daughter uh, who said she wasn't coming to church but she's here amen this is Keisha and good to see the rest of the family Terry and uh, that little guy right there he's so smart Amen. He's a whiz. Yes. Other person might be visiting with us if you're here. Good to see you this morning. Tell the folk who you are, where you're from. Hi. Amen. 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 She's a member of Bethlehem Church on the hill. Any other visitors? Any other visitors? All right. Amen. Want to uh, make some announcements today. First of all, next, Friday, next Saturday will be the Lay Unsung Hero celebration. And remember, we are honoring Sister Jan Ship as our representative here from St. James. You, we want a donation for a ticket. It's virtual, but we're still supporting with tickets of $25, right? And if you did ads in the booklet supporting Jan's uh, nomination, you need to pay for that ad. I think the full page is 50 and so forth. And so I need information. See Sonia today. Uh, give her your check. Give her your support. St. James need to support the lay because the lay is being led by one of us. Hello. And that's Sonia Nelson who does a great, spectacular job. And we want her to know she never has to worry about her home family. We will always support her. So see her. Right after church, give her a check, give her a call if you can't do it today, but please support That's next Saturday. What time does that start? 11? 11 o'clock next Saturday, virtual. Amen. Secondly, I want to announce this coming Wednesday will be our food truck giveaway, free food, starting at 4 o'clock. Uh, please come out, tell your friends. I'm a little concerned because the numbers are going down rather than going up. Aren't you hungry anymore? Don't you need some food? Last time I was in line, I got some catfish, some chicken, milk. Hey Amen. And it was free. F-R-E-E. -E. So we ought to take advantage of how God wants to bless us. Volunteers, we thank you for what you've been doing. Please be here around 3.30, quarter to 4, so we can be prepared to give away food supplements on this coming Wednesday. Everything all right? Amen. Talk to us, Lord. Something's happening. That's okay. We're going to keep on going. Don't let the noise bother you. Amen. Uh, I did the Unsung Hero. I did the food ministry. We welcomed our visitors. Now it's time to say happy birthday to those who are celebrating birthdays and anniversaries. 
When I was in Pharaoh, the kids used to sing, somebody knocking, it must be Jesus. That's Jesus knocking, y'all. What? Yes. Okay. Give Dr. J the mic. Whatever you, do, whatever you did with it. Testing one, two. Thankful for Dr. J this morning. <laughs> I don't think I need a mic. I don't need a it's, mic. It's not on anyway. So you got to talk loud. Right. And we're always making a big deal of a mother, right? I love it. But it takes two tango. Okay. 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 Next Sunday at four o'clock, we're gonna be celebrating fathers okay. over here in Santa Hall with our youth jazz. The direction of the grasshopper. How right. <laughs> <laughs> One of the greatest teachers on this side of heaven. <laughs> and our boy, our new boy choir will be performing on the second half. It is, we're talking about food being free. This is some other kind of food. It's free. All right. <laughs> All right, next Sunday, 4 o'clock, we'll be supporting Dr. J, and the uh, youth choir is going to be here, right? Yeah, boys, boys choir is going to be here. We're going to celebrate, amen. Uh, I apologize for the uh, audio problem, but I've had churches where there was no speakers or microphones, and I just had to use my preaching voice, amen. So I'm going to use that today. Right. Happy birthday, Donna Citrone. The 6th of June, Lexi Miller, the 12th of June, Chelsea Thomas, the 12th of June, Jackie Cook, hey Jackie, happy birthday, 13th, Linda Spearman, hi Linda, happy birthday. Reverend George Logan on the 19th of June. Malik Morris. I think, I think, I think you, you know him, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> on the 20th of June. Cynthia McDonald on the 12th of June. Happy birthday, Cindy. Aisha White on the 24th of June. Happy birthday, Joyce Council on the 26th of June. Teresa Davis on the 26th of June. Phyllis Brown, amen, on the 27th of June. Darian Davis, on the 30th of June. We say happy birthday to each and every one of you. We pray that you are being blessed by God and that your dependence upon tomorrow does not rest in a cake and a candle, but your dependency rests on your prayers and God's grace. Hello? Happy wedding anniversary. Rosie and Larry Moore on the 19th. And Joe and Diane Carroll on the 28th. Happy anniversary. And to celebrate, we're going to sing happy birthday to all persons who are celebrating. Howie, happy birthday. Well.
praise God for you. Now, we cannot hear the sound in here, but on Facebook and Zoom, it's loud and clear. <laughs> All right. What's up with that? All right. Hey, it works. We're going to still have church. Because church does, de does not depend on technology. Church good. depends on people. And people make a joyful noise Woo! unto the Lord. Amen. 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 God gives us everything we need. Yes, yes he does. The Bible Amen. says I was young. Now I'm old. Never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. Yes. So it's time to give, and it's not time to tip God. Amen. Amen. Or to work out a financial arrangement with God. Well, God, I'll give you 2% today, uh, uh, and I'll give you 3% tomorrow. No, it's just time to give. If God has blessed you, then you don't get upset when offerings come. I had a member once in one of my churches, every time it was time for the offering, he stuck up that Baptist finger and walked out the door. One day I asked him, what does that mean? Hold up, God, I gotta go to the bathroom? Is that what that means? He said, no, it means excuse me. I said, why you gotta be excused during the offering? Amen. Amen. People know your faith and your religion by how you act. And if you don't give when it's time to give, then people know you're not fully, amen, saved by God. Uh -huh. We're doing offerings a little different here now. The ushers are going to stand in these two aisles. We're going to get, begin on both sides, coming around to those plates. And then the center section will come to those plates. And then the ushers will bring them to the officer of the day and dump into the basket. And then we'll sing all things come of the O Lord, okay? Ushers, please come out with your plates to these two aisles. Bring, bring a plate. I know this is new to you. Right there, Paul. Right there, right there. Gracious God, we come now to give thee of thine own. We come to give because you have blessed our lives, because you've been good to us because you provided for us every day. Now, God, the gifts of your people are going to be given out of love, out of joy, and out of faith, knowing that God will always make a way. Bless the giver, bless those who had not to give. And dear God, if somebody stands in the need of a blessing today, we pray that your blessing will fall fresh upon them. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's start in the rear on both sides, come around. still give online, you can go to our Givelify, or go to our website, our app, and you can give through the app, those who are online. If you want to mail your offering in, you can. Receive it and add it to our blessings, and we praise God for you.
come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. who are being promoted, who are doing what God has called them to do, educate their minds so they can become all that God created them to be. Amen. Amen. We're proud of our young people. I was riding with some of them yesterday on the roller coasters at uh, Kennywood. I'm a little sore today. Amen. But I'm glad to be in the number. Hamilton Clayton being promoted to fourth grade. Oh. Hamilton. Oh, Hamilton. All right, Hamilton. Is receiving his education from the Wilkinsburg School System. Keep up the good work, Hamilton. This is a certificate of recognition given to Hamilton Clayton for being a good student and for being promoted to the fourth grade. Let the church say amen. The Maya Cross. Going to 11th grade. Oh my. Oh my. Keep up the good work, Lamaya. Your pastor's proud of you. Your church is proud of you. But you know more than that, God is proud of you. God bless you. Almost a senior. Just one more. Amen. And then college. Spellman, she said, Amen. Yeah. Lalani <laughs> Ford being promoted from kindergarten pre to kindergarten. Lalani Ford, family here. Lamar Cross Johnson. He's at football camp, I believe. Mm -hmm. He's being promoted to seventh grade. <laughs> Amen. Trust in Cross Johnson, who's also at football camp, promoted to sixth grade. Yeah. Gianna Cross Patterson, Gigi, being promoted to fourth grade. Amen. And she's a high honor student. Yes. Frank Richardson being promoted to seventh grade. Come on, Phyllis. He's a high honor student. Amen. He's also a teacher's helper and helps his classmates with their math. All right. What do you think about that? Tell Frank we said congratulations. Stay right up. <laughs> Jameer Richardson, going to sixth grade, honor student, received an award for essay writing during Black History Month. Keep up the good work, work, Jameer. Oh, nice. Amen. Praise God for him. <laughs> Aaliyah Simmons, any family members here? Aaliyah's going from pre K to kindergarten. And she's a student at the Learning, Learning to Learn Children's Center. Keep up the good work, Aaliyah. Amen. Let's give her a hand. The one and only Kareem Spearman. Amen. Come on up, Kareem. He's being promoted from, to sixth grade. He'll be attending Harrison Educational Center in the Baldwin Whitehall School District. He's an honor roll student. Amen. He was awarded the ROARS All-Star Award for the month of March. 
Kareem was also selected as the Dare Essay Contest winner for his class. Kareem serves as a peer mentor for his school and plays on the community soccer team. Amen. On this Sunday, June 11th, St. James is proud of you. Congratulations. Keep up the good work, and we love you. All right. Wow. Layla Spearman. Being promoted to eighth grade. She'll be attending Baldwin Wallace Middle School. She's a high honor student with a 4.0. Amen. She was awarded the Highlander Pride Award for gratitude, inspiration, and, and tranquility for the second quarter. Layla's also on the cheerleading squad. Amen. Performed in the middle school musical. I say that? As, as Xanadu, all right. And served as a mentor for the Baldwin Wallace Creation student run business. Amen. On this Sunday, June 11, we're proud of you. God bless you. Keep up the good work. Amen. Amen. Anaya Wade. Anaya Wade's going to the third grade. You remember Anaya? She was sitting on that front pew one day when I said something to her. She said, I didn't say that. <laughs> but Anaya's on the dance team. She has awards for the dance team, very active. We thank God for her. And kiss Anaya and tell her we're proud of her and keep up the good work. Amen. <laughs> Our prayer warrior this morning, Nate Wallace. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Nate is going to seventh grade, and we acknowledge him today. Going to eighth grade, all right. We got oh, he's been promoted. I'm sorry, I read it wrong. Going to eighth grade, and we are proud of him. When Nate was praying, I told him pray from his heart and just talk with God. And brother, you did it, and I'm so proud of you. God bless you. Recognition going to eighth grade. Keep up the good work. Amen. Brandon Jones White. Braden, I'm sorry. Braden George Jones White. I'm proud of his brother because he's going to 12th grade. He's going to tail all the dice. Dice! You going to Westinghouse? All right, brother. Westinghouse. But about, I want to say this about him. He told his parents, I want to get baptized. Amen. For a brother your age who wants God Amen. and is not ashamed to do it publicly. Amen. I'm so proud of you because not only are you being promoted in the school, you're being promoted in the kingdom. Amen. God's got some blessings for you that it's going to blow your mind. Amen. And when it happens, I want you to remember that Pastor Harris and St. James told you it was going to happen. And just say, thank you, Lord. God bless you, Braden. This is your certificate of recognition. God bless you. Let's give Braden a hand. Give Braden a hand. Antoine Younger Jr. All right. He is, he is being promoted to sixth grade. He's an honor roll student at the Urban Academy. And we recognize him today for his academic excellence. Amen. Amen. Let's give a hand to Antoine Younger. Amen. Is this Brendan? Brendan Younger? being promoted to second grade. He's an honor roll student, and he received the Citizens Award yeah. at the Urban Academy School. Keep up the good work. Brendan, we love you, and we thank God for you. Yeah. 
graduating high school. Amen. And going on to be what God has called him to be. We celebrate Zachary Reese. Amen. He looks like somebody. Amen. He walks like somebody. Amen. He is somebody. Amen. We want to congratulate you. Now, on the front of the Bible, it says for kids. But that ain't the important stuff. What's important is inside the Bible. It's a study Bible for young people. We're proud of you. Are you going to college? Where are you going? Are right, we going to Triangle Tech for heating and ventilation? Man, you know how hard it is to get somebody to come and work on our stuff? Right? Brother, do it. There's money in that. Yes. Amen. Matter of fact, do it. Get your own business and work for yourself and help others. God bless you. We're proud of you. Keep up the good work. To God be the glory. Because I never want to shake your hand. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Put that, put that back here. Young people are very, very special. And all young people are not lost and headed for hell. There are some good, outstanding, achieving, and credible young people who are about business and about getting their education and doing what's right. That's right. We got to keep them in prayer. Yeah. We got to keep them lifted up to God. Mm -hmm. We got to keep them on the roll that we call because young folk are living in some dangerous times. Yeah. Shootings at graduations. Shootings at parties and so on. Young people just enjoying life. Bang, dead. We've got to lift up our young people. I pray for all of my young people, Jesus, be a fence all around you every day. Yes. I want you to protect you as you travel along your way. I know he will. I know he can fight your battle. We ask God's blessing upon you. Santino, wave your hand. Santino, wave your hand. This brother know more about Jesus than most of y'all. <laughs> He'll talk educationally about it. Amen. And when he has a question, he'll ask that question, and you better have an answer. So we thank God for our young people. Let me just take a moment to welcome our presiding elder to worship today, yeah. presiding elder Thomas H. Fant. You want work? He came to support our speaker, our preacher today. He came to support St. James. He came to support Jimmy Harris. He, he came to support these young folk. So we thank him for taking time out to come and to share with St. James. Amen? Amen. Did I get all the announcements? I've done everything I need to do. I can get out the way. Thank you, Monica. Joint steward board, trustee board meeting this coming Thursday, 7 o'clock on Zoom. We'll send out the, uh, the uh, invitation. Please join us, all stewards and trustees, this Thursday, 7 o'clock. Now, I know that's it. Amen. I'd like to pre present to you now a young brother that I have taken the reins off of, and I let him do what he needs to do to get his praise on. Amen. 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 I sent you to Andrew Coleman, yes. who hold this mic. He'll dance all over this church. He leads our young people in the district, and I'm proud to say he's one of my sons in the ministry. Amen. This is our central Andrew Coleman, who will introduce our preacher. Amen. Amen. Well, let's praise God this morning. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Elder Harris. It gives me great privilege this morning to introduce to you our preacher of the hour. Amen. Amen. By the name of Licentuate Brandon Everett Hodge. Born March 6, 1993. He was a native of Cleveland, Ohio. 
He graduated from Success Tech Academy June of 2012. He continued his education uh, to Cuyahoga, correct? Cuyahoga Community College and then transferred to Malone University. Brandon has been preaching since the year 2012. On June 10th, 2013, he preached his trial sermon at Lee Memorial Amy Church in Cleveland. So the day and yesterday, he's celebrating 10 years of preaching the word of God this weekend, amen? <laughs> he received his license to preach in the African Methodist Episcopal Church that year by none other than the Reverend Dr. James H. Harris Sr. in 2015. In 2015, at the North Ohio Annual Conference, he was asked to supply a church in Alliance, Ohio. His first Sunday was November 1st, 2015. Since then, he has continued his ministry as the proud pastor of St. Luke AME Church in Alliance, Ohio. Amen? Amen. Amen. Where he is very involved with the community. And that's not just in the Bible, that is the truth. Brandon loves God. He loves preaching, but he loves to serve God's people. His favorite scripture is Philippians 4, 6 through 7. He believes in unity and believes the best is yet to come to his ministry. St. James, we have, and I don't, I, I, I don't want to say a treat because that sounds too cheap. We have a meal that's in the house today. Brandon Hodge is one of my best friends. We talk each and every day. We grew up in the YPD. He was the third district YPD president. And then when he stepped down and he moved forward, I became the third district YPD president. This is a brother for life. One of the only friends of mine that Nana loved more than me. <laughs> I, and, I, and I'm serious about that. Nana, one time I had to take Nana to the hospital and she was out of it. And we were in the hospital room waiting for her to wake up. And when she wakes up, you know, we're thinking that she's going to ask about something. The first thing she says out of her mouth, Brandon Hodge. That brother can preach. I'm like, what? I said, are you okay? What's going on? We're glad, you know, I'm serious. That was the first thing she said when she woke up. He is very, really, really anointed. If you ever have the opportunity to travel to Alliance, Ohio, and see him in action, whatever he wants to do in that city, that city supports him. Because he serves the Lord with all of his heart. So St. James, I want you to stretch your hands towards him right now. Everybody stretch your hand, and even if you're online, stretch your hands towards the screen in your kitchen. And say, La Hodge. La Hodge. Preach. All right, I, I, I didn't even believe that. Let's try that again. Lysentuit Hodge. Lysentuit Hodge. Preach. Preach. All right, we're getting there, but I still didn't believe that. Lysentuit Hodge. Lysentuit Hodge. Preach. Preach. After the next selection, the next voice you will hear will be that of Pastor Brandon Hodge, the pastor of St. Luke AME Church in Alliance, Ohio. May God be praised. Amen.
Come on in this place. Let's give God some praise in this place. Come on, act like God has done something for you in this place. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Come on, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. I don't know why y'all stop praising. God's been good to somebody in this place. On, on, on another Sunday, God's been good. Another day, God has blessed you. You should be giving God some great praise. Amen. Come on, acknowledge the Lord in this place. God is truly good to be praised, and I praise God for what he's done in my life, and I just have to acknowledge my Lord and Savior, who's been a blessing. Then to your pastor, my friend, my mentor, who gave me the, who licensed me to preach, and who, what my ministry started 10 years ago, he saw something in me that I didn't even see in myself, but I thank God that he license me and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him signing that paper so I praise God and I thank God for you and then to my friend to another mentor of mine who who kept me in line at Chihuahua when I wanted to sneak out the dorms he was always at the door come on now I'm saved but when I wanted to sneak out you know you know you know he was always at the door and said curfews at 12 y'all yeah. Curfews at 12. I don't know what you're in the lobby. It's 1145. I don't know what you're down here. You need to get to your room. But I praise God for Brazilian Elder Fant, who was always the one that caught me when I was up to no good. But I praise God for him. Then to my best friend, my brother, he calls me every day. And I praise God for him. To um, Los Central Andrew Coleman, who was my friend, my brother. I met him in 2012 in the lobby at the Renaissance in Columbus. This man was very energetic, very hyper, and we've been friends ever since. And I praise God, I, it's good to see that the YPD that I grew up in, where I had the blessing to be the third district president, and just to see it going good and vibrant because of my brother and my friend. I praise God for me. I've been out of the YPD since 2009, graduated at the age, 2019, yep. At the, age of tw at the age of 26, and I praise God, graduated, now I'm 30, so I praise God, I praise God, I praise God. So it's preaching time. Turn with me to the 14th chapter of Matthew. To these young people, to this choir, to all those who are recognized, and for those who are online, God bless you. And to my St. Luke family, I tell people this all the time, I don't just pastor St. Luke, I pastor Alliance. So to my Alliance family, I praise God for you that's watching online. Matthew, the 14th chapter, starting at verse 22, reads like this, Immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side. While he dismissed the crowd, after he had dismissed them, he went up on the mountainside by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but the boat was already a considerable distance from the land. It was being beat by waves because of the wind was against it. During the fourth watch, of the night Jesus went out to them walking on the lake when the disciples saw him walking on the lake they were terrified it's a ghost they said and they cried out in fear but Jesus immediately said to them take courage it is I don't be afraid Lord if it's you Peter replied tell me to come to you on the water Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, and he was afraid and began to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, go ahead and tell somebody, immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt and when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshiped him, saying, truly, you are the Son of God. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch now your servant. Empty me, Lord. None of Brandon. Brandon will fail you. But God, if you fill me with your presence, let the words of your mouth and the meditation of the heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
For the time that is mine, the name of this sermon is entitled No More Ashy Feet. No more, no more ashy feet. Your feet will, will reveal your faith. Martin Luther King said that faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. My brothers and sisters, I don't know about you, but there's been times in my life I struggled with ashy feet. I, I'm not talking about if you open up your cabinet, you probably got some Vaseline, some Lubriderm, some Jergen, some cocoa butter, whatever it may be to lotion up your feet. But I'm not talking naturally lotioning up your feet and having ashy feet. I'm talking about in your faith walk with Christ. You, you may have some, some ashy feet. Y'all going to help me now? You, you, you may have some ashy feet. And it's in our text today we see that, that Jesus has just finished feeding 5,000 and he has dismissed his disciples to get in the boat and go over to the other side and it's amazing because my brothers and sisters it says in the text that Jesus departed and went into the hills to pray and I don't know but I know up in St. James AME Church that you all love to, to pray I don't know about you but I've learned that praying does something prayer shifts some things prayer changes things prayer does something something has to happen when when you pray and I don't know about you but I know I'm not preaching by myself I know I got a couple folks that know about the power of prayer I'll give God praise not because of the healing that took place but I gave God praise because he actually went away and prayed for me uh, there was times in my life where situations started to rage in my life there were times in my life where, where problems arose but I'm so glad Jesus prayed and do I got anybody in here that says I'm so glad that Jesus stepped away to go pray about my situation to go pray about my problems to go pray about my circumstances and there's just some things in life that happen when you pray the song says, thank God somebody prayed for me, had me on their mind, took the time to, to pray for me. And young people, you better give God praise for your parents that, that stayed on your knees. You better give God praise for your grandparents that walked the floor and prayed. You, you better, you made it this far because somebody prayed for you. Somebody took the time to, to pray for you. You made it this long because somebody prayed for you. They knew the power of prayer. When, when you couldn't talk to your father, when you, when you couldn't talk to your mother, you, you can talk to Jesus. You can call them up and tell them what you want. Jesus is on the main line. Yeah. Tell them, tell them, tell them what you want. And tell them what you want. And here it is. He starts praying. He sent the disciples off. And as he sent the disciples off, a storm arose. Now, 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 this is what I find is amazing. When I was working this text, Jesus was in the hills, but the disciples were on the sea, and, and they were going through a storm in the sea, but, but up in the mountain, Jesus was praying. Jesus sent them. Uh, don't forget, don't get mad at the storms that arise in your life, because you got to remember who sent you. Uh, Jesus said, get in the boat and go over to the other side. You better give God praise for sending you some places. Uh, and sometimes God will send you some places that you don't want to go, but when you go under Understand that if Jesus told you to go, he'll cover you all along the way. And you got to know that where he sends you, I'll go. Where, where, where he leads me, I'll follow. And, and he tells them, he tells them to get in the boat and, and go over. So Jesus is in the hills praying, but they're going through a storm on the sea. He's up in the hills. Y'all got to visualize it. He, he sees you right where you're at. And I don't know about you. They, you may not have ever been able to feel the presence of God. He may seem far away from you, but he knows exactly where you're at. I don't know. I may be by myself here, but I'm so glad that when the storms were raging in my life and the hell was breaking loose in my life, Jesus knew exactly where I was at and knew exactly what I was going through and knew exactly the pain I was feeling and I don't know about you but I know that I got to give God praise for the fact that, that that he knew exactly where I was at I felt like I was alone I felt like I couldn't do it by myself but Jesus was in the hills praying and said I know where you're at Brandon I, I know what you're dealing with I know what you're facing and, and I can pinpoint right where you're at and I got to know that my prayers are what's sending you through the storm and I don't know about you but I got to give God praise that his prayers are what's sending me through the storm uh, but can I say something my brothers and sisters that while they were in the boat and the storm was raging. Yeah. You got to understand that the storm arose. And I learned when I was sitting on my couch working on this. The Lord said that not all storms are meant 
to destroy you. Hear me now. Hear me now. Hear me now. Some storms come to make you while other storms come to break you and, and and you gotta look at this because there's some people in lives that and I hope they hear me here that there's some storms that you're going through that are not meant to break you God sent a storm to make you and you need to stop asking the Lord to take the storm away and to calm the storm and say keep the waves coming keep the rain come keep the water tossing because this storm did not come to break me this storm came to make me and, I, and I'm so glad because I can say God bring the rain bring the fears bring the storms because I want this storm to make me make me have a little stronger faith make me have a little more trust make me have a little more praise and my praise is for real I can be by myself but I know that there's some storms that came and they beat up against me and they tore me apart but I said God this is not your fault I stopped blaming the Lord and I started rejoicing and giving God praise for the storms that were raging in my life because they made me ah uh, we really give the devil too much credit at times because we start saying the devil's always on my back and the devil's always got his hand on me and the devil's always coming after me but understand that the storm that you're encountering is from the Lord he, uh, you got to remember Jesus sent them on their way he knew that the storm was going to rise and he knew what they were going through and it's amazing because when Jesus comes he comes walking on the water and you have to divinely understand who's walking towards you you have to divinely know who's who's walking at you because sometimes they couldn't recognize who he was because they were so caught up in their storm and and understand that this storm is making you recognize your Savior. You, you got to know this storm that is raging is a storm that Jesus needs. You got to watch your Savior come save you in your chaos, in your mess, in your situation. See him walking towards you saying, I'm seeing, I'm right there with you, right smack dab there. And you, you think you by yourself, but, but God said, I'm right here with you. I've I, been here with you a long time. And, and I want you to know that you can go through this. You can go through this. Stop asking the Lord to take your storms away. This storm came to make you, not break you. Now, this is the part that gets me. Because I know this is the part that gets me. There were 12 disciples in the boat. Each of those 12 disciples had two feet. Uh, 12 times 2 is 24. But only two got out the boat. Uh, let me do it again. There was 12 disciples. Uh, two sets of feet. Two times 12 is what? 24. But only two got out the feet. So there was 24 ashy feet in the boat. But only two got out the boat. Because he said that I know that I have to go out to my Savior. And don't be like the rest of the 24 and stay in the boat. Uh, I don't need no more ashy feet. And, and God is looking and saying, are you going to be a boat believer? Or are you going to be a faith walker? And I need some folks that say, I'm tired of being a, a faithful. I'm tired of being a boat believer. We put too much faith in the boat. But I need to be like Peter. I'm, I'm going to walk out well by faith. And I'm going to walk and I'm going to keep on walking. It may not feel good. It may not be comfortable. It may not make no sense. But, but I'm going to be a faith walker. I got to get out the boat. Even though it don't feel right. I got to get out the boat. Even though I'm tired. And I, I got to get out the boat huh? even though I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing huh? I'm going to walk out the boat huh? uh, can I help you this weekend yeah, yeah. this past weekend we went out my job took me on a retreat and we went out and there was these paddle boats and some of the folks that were part of my team they were scared to get in the boat okay. I asked the man how deep is this water he said about 36 feet he said, when you get to the middle part, now folks got scared. Aaron, they got scared. They got scared. They got scared. They said, I ain't getting on that boat. And I said, well, y'all are safe on the shore. But I got in the boat. And I was paddling the boat. And they said, you was just as brave. And I said, I didn't put my faith in the boat. I put my faith in the one who made the water. I'm the one. And I don't know about you. But I know that I put my faith not in the boat. I didn't put my faith in the day. But I put my faith in the one who raises the sun every morning. I put my faith in the one who allows the sun to set every day. I put my faith in the one who's able to put water in my cup. And allow water to pour out of my cup. I'm the one who I worship and I have faith in the one who, who puts the stars in the sky. Oh, y'all help me in here. He's the one that kept my heart beating when I was asleep. He was the one that put clothes on my back. And I just got to give him praise because he kept my family. He kept my friends. I got faith in the one who made the water. 
Ah, uh, ah, uh, so Peter here. Peter starts walking. He starts walking. Yeah. I don't I don't I just believe that he didn't walk and he, he didn't have a good steady he was walking on something he shouldn't have been walking on in the first place and G, he, he said if it's you Jesus allow me to come to you and that's what's so good about God he'll allow you to come to him he, he won't come he'll allow you to come in the state that you in in the mess that you in he will allow you to come to him he had broken and busted and disgusted, tore up from the floor. He had come to me. And he, he stepped out the boat. Y'all can keep the ashy feet in here. I got to get my feet wet. I got faith. And he's, he's walking. He's walking. And he's, he's walking and trying to get to Jesus. Can y'all see it? He's, he's trying to get to Jesus. And, and then he gets distracted yeah. by the waves. Right. Distracted yeah. by the wind. Yeah. I know I'm not the only one I get distracted. Uh, sometimes God says you got to remove your distractions. That's why meditation is so important. That's why your prayer closet is so important. That's why you got to have focus and you got to understand that I'm walking to my Savior. He's the only one. I was sinking deep in seeing far from the peaceful shore. And it's amazing because he starts walking and he got distracted. And when he got distracted, he began to sink the reason you're sinking is because you took your eyes off Jesus the reason you can't stand up straight is because you took your eyes off of him stop talking about Jesus move no you're the one that moved you took your eyes off of him I've learned I loved it because when I was watching the news and they had babies doing a marathon they had the babies doing a race and the mothers were at the other end and the mothers were telling the babies look at me ah come to me know my voice come to me they said keep your eyes on me and one the babies they had other people were shaking in the rattles and trying to distract the babies but there was one baby in particular ah he kept his eye on his mother even though there was wind and waves and a whole bunch of mess going on here he kept his eyes on his mother and he kept walking because he knew his voice and I just believe that if you know the voice of Jesus you'll be able to make it through your valley you'll be able to make it through your storm you'll be able to make it through your mess you got to keep on pressing even though the waves are beating up against your boat even though the storms are raging in your life and then he starts to sink and it's amazing because the disciples didn't jump out the boat they had ashy feet but the one that had them was Jesus he picked them up and pulled them up out of the sin that he was sinking deep in here it is here it is are you going to be a faith believer a faith walker or a bork believer so as he's sinking, Jesus reaches out his hand and picks him up. And as he picks him up, he starts pulling him out of what he was sinking in. He went back to the state that he was supposed to be in. It's natural. You sink in water. You're not supposed to walk on water. You can do the incredible when you keep your eyes on Jesus. But when you take your eyes off Jesus, you're going to begin to sink. You're going to fall back into the natural when you take your eyes off Jesus. But as long as you keep your eyes on the supernatural, uh, you can see supernatural happen in your life. Well, I'm done preaching, but it's time for a praise party. Because I've learned that God's been too good to me for me to keep it to myself. I was sinking deep in sin. I was caught up in sin. And I was sinking. I was caught up on being a boat believer. But I'm so glad that Jesus came and got me and said it's time to be a faith walker. And is there anybody in this place uh, that says I'm ready to be a faith walker? Uh, no more ashy feet for me. Uh, Lubaderm can't do what the Lord can do. Uh, uh, Jurgens can't do what the Lord can do. Uh, Jer Cocoa Butter can't do what the Lord can do. Uh, I'm getting out my boat. Uh, the boat can't keep me in. Uh, the boat will keep me confined. Uh, but I gotta go to my Savior uh, who's able to keep me from falling. Uh, now unto him uh, that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless. Yes. You got to know that he'll keep you when you can't keep yourself. It's invitation time. Yes, sir. I need to know by hands who, who wants to be a faith walker. No more, no more ashy feet. No more ashy feet. I, I, can't, 
can't, I can't, I can't do it. All to Jesus, I surrender. It's invitation time as we stand to our feet. I want to give you three. I want to give you three. If you're not saved, if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, if, if you were to die tonight, can you say that heaven will be my home? Number two, if you don't have a relationship, if you had one, and you just began to sink in sin, you took your eyes off your Savior, and you started to drift away, come on back. Then lastly, if you need prayer, if Jesus was bold enough to go into the hills by himself and pray, what can you do? The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is living in you. The same one that walked on water. That spirit is living in you. Hear, hear me, hear me. That spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. Folks ain't supposed to get up from the dead. That same spirit is living in you. So what can the power of prayer do in your life? So number one, if you're not saved, number two, you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ and you want to recommit your life. Then lastly, if you just need prayer, listen, I'll pray with you. I'm not scared of you. I don't need to know what's going on. I'll pray for you. I believe in the power of prayer. I've seen folks with cancer get healed. I've seen people in wheelchairs who couldn't walk get up. I, I've seen people who were saved, fell away, came back. I've seen it happen. But first you have to surrender. Get out your boat. Get out your boat. Get out your boat. Watch God do it. As we close our eyes. And as the choir sings this beautiful hymn, ask yourself this question. Are you ready to get out the boat? Are you ready to be a faith walker? If you're not going to pray for yourself, pray for your family. Pray for your family. Watch God do something in your family when it comes through your prayer. I surrender all. So come on, come on. If you're not saved, you want to give your life to Christ, come on now. Oh. If you're not going to come to the altar, you may be seated, but I ask you, come on, come on. If you need prayer, if you need prayer, come on, come on, come on. It's prayer time. It's prayer time. Watch God do something. I surrender all. All to Jesus.
church say amen. amen. If you stay in the boat, your feet going to stay ashy. Yeah. <laughs> you hear what I said? Yeah. The preacher said you got to get out the boat. Right. Gotta get out. And you got to want to come to Jesus. Yeah. When you can see Jesus, right. everything's possible. Amen. Yeah, our power amp went out today and our sound system messed up. But I can see Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. There's always something wrong at St. James. You, Jesus. That's the nature of this church. Amen. But I can see Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't never got enough money. But as long as I can see Jesus, right. he'll make a way. Yeah. And we thank God for the word today. Yeah. Amen. I'm laughing because yesterday I had on my shorts. One of the kids said, you got some ashy legs. <laughs> and I said, how she see ash with all this white? Amen. <laughs> so we were joking and having fun. And now the preacher talks about ashy feet. Evidently, ashes is on God's mind. All right. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for the way. Thank you, Brandon. I'm so proud of you as one of my sons in the ministry. I thank God that I was able to license you as your presiding elder out of Lee Memorial. And I thank God that God picked you up and God's using you in a church where they thought the church was dead. But now the church is alive. Amen. This young brother went to nothing and made something out of it. All because he was sick of having ashy feet. He got out of the boat and he saw Jesus. As long as you see Jesus, all things are Amen. possible. Again, I'm so thankful to have our presiding elder with us today. Amen. Let's give him a hand. We are going to Manesson Church, uh, Wayman Quinn Manesson, this afternoon to rededicate and reopen that church. That church was closed down because it needed repairs. It didn't shut down because of COVID. It shut down because the building was just, yeah. But they have rebuilt that building, and we're going to go celebrate with them. Amen. Amen. The choir's going with me. The choir's going with me. The choir's going with me. Amen. The choir's going with me. Yes. The choir's going with me. Yes. Amen. Amen. Brother Howie's going with me. You can come if you want to. We'll praise the Lord together. Let me just announce to the church, it's really not public news yet, but Howie Alexander has been invited to be the opening performer at the International Jazz Festival here in Pittsburgh in September. And we're going to be there. It's on a Saturday night. We're going to go there and party. We're going to come to church the next morning and praise. That's right. We're so thankful and glad, happy for Howie. Howie also graduated from all the dice, like me. Uh, and to see the growth in Howie from the time he was in school until the time now, Howie's done a spectacular job. And he doesn't mind praising God and giving God the glory. Amen. Young people, always thankful for what you do. Thankful for your prayer, Nate. Beautiful prayer. Amen. Thankful to Lamaya who leads our young people. She's a, she's a very good leader. Yes, she is. And we praise God for her. Amen. I thank God for Bianca. Yes. Amen. That's my girl. That's my sweetheart. I do anything for Bianca, won't I? Yeah, I will. She knows it. When somebody tried to come up against her, I blocked them and almost lost my religion. Amen. But every, amen. But I wanted her to know that her past was on her side and the pastor loves her. Two, I said to Andrew Coleman, thank you for letting God use you. Amen. Amen. If nobody else appreciates your faith, I do. Amen. We praise God again for our preacher. Yeah. And we just thank God for everybody here today. Now, now, they have indicted Trump on 37 charges. If, uh, if it was me, amen. If it was you, 
Don't fall for the hype. Hype. It's a smoke screen. And I saw black folk on national news talking about Trump for president. I know I shouldn't say these things, but don't let the devil fool you. The devil's wise as a serpent. The devil will have you thinking one thing when they're doing something else. That's why you got to stay in prayer. Remember, if it was me or you, already be in jail. So don't fall for the hokey doke. That's all it is. Numbers going up in the poll. Don't fall for the ho hokey doke. Amen. I'd rather have Jesus than silver and go. Don't fall for the hokey doke. Elections coming up soon. We'll do more talking about that, but. Don't let all this press mess you up. Remember, the news only says what they want them to say. If you listen to Fox News, you out of your mind. You crazy. Yeah. Yeah. We're going home now. Well, praise God another week. It's going to be 60-something tomorrow. It's going to be 80-something toward the end of the week. Don't be like the temperature, up and down. <laughs> Never know how it's going to be. Be steady. Yeah. All right. Be straight. Stay who you are. Getting out of the boat, walking to Jesus in the storm. Remain faithful. With thou art faithful until death, the Bible says. Amen. I'll give you a crown of righteousness. And I want my crown. Amen. You want your crown? I want my crown. Thank I want it to come from the hands of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I want the Lord to say, well done, thou good and faithful you, servant. Jesus. Young people, keep up the good work. We're proud of you graduating, being promoted, moving up in education. But don't stop with high school. Go to college. Go to grad school. I want you to be called Dr. Lamaya. I want you to be called Dr. Nate. Hello? I want you to be called because you have perfected your blessing and you are somebody in the Lord. When you get certified, ain't nothing they can do to you. They can't touch you. Amen. And I'm not just certified with my education. I'm certified with my salvation. I got Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. And that's because God loves me and I love God. Presiding Elder, thank you. Monica, thank you. Tech team, thank you. Dr. J is always a thank you to you, brother, on the organ. Let's give Dr. J a hand. Thank you, Howie. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, choir. And I'm going to have a good week. You going to have a good week? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have a great week. Praising the Lord. Thank you for those who supported our district church school convention. We had a ball. We had a blast. Thank you for all that you did. This was our technic technician drafter, or whatever it is. Media. He made T-shirts for us. We were in Kenny. Everybody knew who we was. I couldn't cuss because I had a T-shirt on. <laughs> I got all right and bumped my knee. I had to catch myself because I almost, but I had this T-shirt on talking about with God, we win. We win together. <laughs> Maybe I ought to wear that T-shirt all week. Then I won't cuss at all. That's right. All right, man. All right. I wear it in my mind. And in my heart, and I won't cuss at all. All right. I'm just going to say amen. That's it. Let the church say amen. Let the church.
and not hope believers. We're going to keep our eyes on Jesus. Yes, Jesus. And when we find ourselves sinking deep in sin, My God. we know that the hand of Jesus will pick us back up. So, Lord, bless our coming in and bless our going out. From this time forth and forevermore, and the people of God said, Amen. Now, God has spoken. Harris here thanking you for joining us in worship today. You've been a blessing to us. It's our prayer that we've been a blessing to you. I know that God's going to work miracles in our lives. We just have to pray for one another. You pray for me, I'll pray for you. Watch God change things. God bless you. <laughs>